Well, hey everyone, how's it going? Sean here at Jenna 3 Solar, and this is the video that I have been waiting to make for almost a whole year. That's right, 11 months. 11 months ago, a little over 11 months, actually a little under 11 months, we opened up the pre-orders for the new 12,000 watt unit, as well as the new 6,000 watt unit. It's been that long, and I won't get into the entire journey. If you have followed us since then, you'll know the struggles that we've had since then. But, tentatively, I don't like to make promises because things can change, but the plan is tomorrow, which is Wednesday, tomorrow around noon, give or take a couple of hours it could be, around noon we will have all of the stuff for the Genetry Solar inverters, tentatively. The last that I had heard is they are going to be loading up all of our stuff and they will be delivering it right here. So, tomorrow is a big day. Now, Sid might come up tomorrow evening, or it could be Thursday morning-ish, but he has to leave Friday evening, or he has to be home by Friday evening, so he's going to be leaving Friday afternoon. So we have this much of a window to get everything done that we need to get done. So, here's the deal. Since all of the stuff is going to be arriving tentatively tomorrow, we have to make sure that it's correct. We're not going to just open up boxes and start throwing parts around. We have to inventory it. We have to make sure it's correct. It's a lot of parts. So we have to make sure everything's correct and undamaged. So we've got some things that we have to do to sort everything out. Sid is going to be hard at work on things like software and the control boards. And the main reason that he's coming up is because of the control boards. We've got some things that we have to dial in. These are new transformers, new everything. So while most of it will transfer over to the new inverters, we have some things that we have to tweak, and that's gonna be Sid's job. We're gonna be testing. He's gonna help me build maybe one, maybe two of the inverters just to make sure everything's fine. Probably a 12K and a 6K, we'll build that one together, and we're gonna test it. We're gonna make sure that it's working fine, and then he will likely be on his way home very small window for Sid to actually be up here. So we have a lot that we have to take care of between uh, obviously tentatively Wednesday and Friday afternoon. We planned on doing a live stream, we planned on doing a bunch of videos, we planned on all that, but we really, even though we knew that our stuff has been in Chicago for almost two weeks, we didn't know when everything was going to happen. So. We just got the email this morning that they were going to be loading up, actually it was this afternoon, so a few hours ago, uh, that they were going to be loading everything up and they're going to be sending it to us for delivery around noon tomorrow. So we have to hit the ground running. I am not going to be Sid's shadow, I'm not going to be just sitting there watch while he does stuff. I'm going to be building and building and building. So. Some of you have been waiting almost a year to get your inverter, and I'm not gonna waste any time getting to it. But at the same time, I'm not gonna rush it and then make a mistake and have either an inverter failure or have some other damage or be damaged on its way to you or you have an inverter failure. We're still gonna go through all the normal testing. We're still gonna make sure that everything is assembled properly. We're gonna make sure that it's working properly. We're gonna be doing all of that, and then we will start shipping. now. What I would like to see is the first inverters going out to customers next Tuesday. The reason it's next Tuesday is because Monday happens to be a holiday. So Monday is Memorial Day, and unfortunately, nobody, UPS, anybody, nobody runs on Monday. So while I can certainly get labels, you're not going to see any movement from the inverters until Tuesday. But all weekend long, I'm going to be hard at work putting these things together. I'm going to try to get as many done as I possibly can between Wednesday and obviously Tuesday. And I'm going to ship them out as fast as I can. Now, another thing I will want to add is that I am going to be reaching out to each and every single one of the pre-order customers. I do not want, because some of you, as I said, you've had your order in for a year, almost a year. I'm not going to be just shipping and going and then find out, well, you moved six months ago 
or that maybe you sent me an email a while back that said you wanted to go from 24 to 48 volts or something else like that. I don't want any mistakes. I don't want to have to be return shipping. I don't want to have to deal with any of that stuff. So I'm going to be reaching out to each and every single one of you. So just verify that your contact information is correct. I will be calling you or emailing you. If I can't get a hold of you through a phone call, I will email you. But I'm not going to be shipping out anything until I know that it's the correct address, that the order is correct, configuration is correct, and maybe give you a chance to change anything at the last second if you want to. I have made several changes to orders from customers who say they want to convert to, let's say, from a 6K to a 12K, pay the difference, or want to change from 24 to 48 volts or something along those lines. I have received that information. So I want to make sure that an email didn't fall through the cracks or something else isn't going on. I will talk to each and every single one of you. I will build your units. I'm not going to be like, well, I didn't get a hold of that guy, so I'm just not going to worry about it. I will build your units in the order in which they were received. And if I can't get a hold of you, it will be in the box waiting. I'll have your name on it. It'll be waiting to ship to you. So it's not like I'm going to be like, well, you didn't contact me, so it's going to be another week. I'll have it built but I'm not going to ship it until I have actually talked to you. So this is exciting as well as I will honestly say nerve wracking. We have a lot riding on this, but we obviously are very confident. I've got, well, I'm in the inverter room right now. I've got that inverter that's running over there perfectly fine. It's doing a great job. You can hear it's running the house. I mean, the kids are home, air's on hot water heater, lights, everything else, it's all on. So you can hear that inverter running and it's been doing a great job. And in theory, the new inverters will be a little bit better than that one because that one uses kind of a Frankensteinian main board and, and a custom control board and all this stuff. So while it does have the production transformer in it, the, there's still gonna be some improvements. And that thing's been running very, very stable and solid. I haven't been concerned as I was with the previous units where it may randomly blow up or something like that. We don't know why or, or whatever. I mean, I'm very excited because we're finally getting these units in. So, I will do my best, I promise you. I'm not going to just go on vacation. I'm not going to go mow the lawn. I'm not going to go pet the goats. I'm not going to... It's going to be eat. So there's this, see this couch that I'm sitting on right now? This is going to be my new bed. And I'm probably going to take two or three hour naps on it, and I'm going to get back to work. I'm going to try my best to get everybody's order out fast. Because you've been waiting... So I'm going to get them out fast, but I'm not going to rush it. I'm not going to rush it, make a mistake, a bolt's not torqued down properly, and you get this grenaded inverter by the time it gets to you. So please be patient. I know you've been patient for the longest time, but please be patient. I'm going to get these out as fast as I possibly can. Probably going to be tweaking the production, trying to figure out where the parts need to be so they're quick and easy to access. There's going to be some things. So we will do our absolute best to get these out as fast as we possibly can but be please be patient but for those of you who ordered way back last july you should be seeing shipping notifications here next tuesday maybe even earlier i mean i can get the labels down over the weekend just nobody will be here to pick them up so you should be seeing your notifications but again i'm going to talk to everybody so between now which is tuesday and Friday, I am going to be calling people to try to get their most up-to-date information or any changes that need to be made. I have been asked about converting 6K to a 12 and so on. I still have some 12s. I still have some 6s. So uh, if you are interested in the price that's on the website right now, keep in mind that tomorrow, and I mean it, tomorrow, because they will technically be in stock tomorrow, Tomorrow, all the deals go away. The prices go up. So tonight is literally your last chance to get these deals that are the current price right now. Tonight. So if you've been on the fence for a while, if you've been waiting, you know, I understand completely. Um, just obviously make sure that you get your order in because, well, you're only going to be waiting a week, maybe two tops before you actually get your inverter. So order in which it was received, and of course, as these start going out, I will be doing videos. I'm excited. Uh, I am going to be putting a 6K and a new 12K on the wall, and the reason is because I need to test it. 
I can test this one all day long, but it's technically not the same as the one that you're getting. So I need to test these inverters. So I'm gonna be very busy multitasking, doing load tests, and, and great thing is it's gonna be sunny for the next week. So I have plenty of sun to load test, sound test, all sorts of things. I mean, right now the inverter's working pretty hard. You can probably hear that. I don't know if you can hear that or not. That is actually the hot water heater element that's turned on right now. I gotta clean out the filter again. It's only been about a month, but I gotta clean out the filter again. So the compressor is turned off, so it's heating our water on electric only. So you can probably hear that. Maybe you can see a little flicker in the lights uh, when that element kicks on. That's a lot of, a lot of juice that's uh, picking up. So yeah, you can hear those fans starting to ramp up a little bit. But at any rate, so please be patient. We will see if we have time to get some live streams in. I know everybody loves seeing Sid because a lot of people still think he doesn't exist, that he's like my alter ego. But I can tell you that he does exist. You can see the videos. He's a, a, a brilliant inverter designer and it just comes down to time. We would absolutely love to be able to get videos and you can see this thing. We are on, we're at 11,000 watts right now because <laughs> I got the car plugged in. The car is now charging, or obviously. The hot water heater is running. The air conditioning is running. The lights, uh, there's a lot going on right now. So we're at 11,000 watts right now. So anyway, before it gets too loud in here, stay tuned to the channel. Tomorrow's a big day. I'm not going to do any fancy videos of it being unloaded or anything else like that. I'm just going to hit the ground running, start building. I'll do some videos of the stuff, you know, when it's on the bench and the transformers and things like that, but um, we're not going to go all fancy and be vlogging every step of the way. So, it's definitely getting pretty loud. There's a lot going on right now in the house. That's the air conditioner and everything is all running. So the inverter is without a doubt being pushed right now, which is great because I don't have to worry about it. It's running great. But at any rate, I'm going to let you guys go because I got work that I have to do. Got to get ready for Sid's trip. Got to get ready for all this. Thank you for your support. Again, tonight, today's the last day. Get your order in because tomorrow morning I'm going to be putting the prices up to where we've been planning to put them. So keep that in mind, please. Thanks again for all of your support as always and take care.